A clean Bernina is a happy Bernina soy machine. So do take the time to clean and oil it on a regular basis. Now when I say regular, I'm gonna say every one to two bobbins because there's a lot of thread on here and that's gonna be a lot of sewing. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my scissors and up at the top of my spool, I'm going to cut the thread and then pull the thread out all the way. And then I'm also gonna take the bobbin out so we can set that aside. What you need to get out from your accessories is actually your oil pin and your brush. You do not use canned air. Everything you can do is with these two uh, little tools that come with your machine. I'm gonna recommend that you take your needle out. That way, as I take my foot off, I'm not gonna stab the, myself on this needle. And so that means I should probably put a new needle in. Also, if you would like to keep your light on but don't wanna accidentally run your machine, unplug your foot control. So that is a safety thing. You, the, the manual's gonna tell you to actually turn the machine off. So here's another thing. We wanna take this throat plate off. There's a lot of lint that gathers underneath these teeth that scrape down from your fabric. You're gonna notice there's a bullseye on this back corner. Watch what I do with my thumbs. I'm gonna put one thumb here. Notice I'm pushing down on a knuckle and my other thumb's gonna come on top of it. And this downward pressure will make that easily pop up and just pull that right on off. So right here is where you'll start to see a lot of lint and you can go ahead and bring that brush it towards you and don't blow in here. That's gonna really make a, a not a good thing. Next, we're gonna open up this area by pressing on this silver uh, kind of bar right here, push to the left, and that will go ahead and bring this down. Next, you're gonna reach in here on that middle uh, spindle. You're gonna reach in and pull. It's a magnet. So when we go to put it in, it will pop back into place. So all you have to do is give it a little pull. So in here, you're gonna notice that there are two yellow pads. That is where we're going to put our oil. So you're just gonna go ahead, squeeze some oil on there, avoiding getting any oil on that center kind of spring area. And you can fill up those little reservoirs as you need. The other thing that is not noted in your book, but it has come across in our service bulletins, is to just go ahead and put a little bit of oil along the outside perimeter here. And you can even just kind of wrap it around with your finger nicely. And that's of course after you've cleaned off and removed any lint or dust. The last thing you'll probably see, do not oil here. There is a red mark uh, that was once upon a time an oil location that is now not. Just avoid that. And the three places I just showed you is really all you need to do. So two inside and then a little bit all the way around. Continue to clean all the way out. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Now to get this back in, the first couple times might be a little tricky for you, but notice there is a hole in that hook here, and there is a silver uh, sticker kind of on the back part. Those two line up, and that is how you get it to click back in place. So if it's not clicking or kind of reattaching itself with the magnet, just give this a little spin one way or the other, depending on how it is. So I'm tipping it down to go in there, and then I'll just go ahead, I'm way to the side, but once I get it twisted, it snaps in there and everything should be nice and flush around the edges. Take the time next to go ahead and push hard against the edges here so it clicks back behind there. Now we're gonna do one other separate video on cleaning the thread catcher here, and that's the little thread cutter. And sometimes there's some threads that need to be cu cut. And there's a little sequence you do with the setup menu. So it you, um, you're you gonna push something on screen and then it's gonna expand, extend, you're gonna clean it out, and then you're gonna touch something else on the screen and it'll go back to where it needs to be. So like I said, that's gonna be a separate video altogether. But make sure that if you're starting to see some threads down there, you need to remove that there is a specific way to do that. Your throat plate, you're gonna find if you just line up the back edge back here. So it's kind of aiming up at you. And then with your fingers, just go ahead and push down firmly and that will snap back into place and it should be nice and flush. Put your bobbin back in. Then you can just cut this. Put your foot on next. And I always do the needle last because now I have a place for my needle to actually be aligned with. It's a lot easier to put that all the way in. 
and I'm putting in a new needle for my next project. Tighten it up gently. Tight but not like over tightened. And you're ready to test out. I would re-thread your machine, sew a little bit on some sample fabric just to make sure that if there was any extra oil, it'll come out on here and not on something light colored where the oil might stain. So remember every two to three or one to th two bobbins on this machine is gonna be help make this machine last a lifetime and have more enjoying sewing without any frustration. So take the time to clean your machine on a regular basis.